Welcome back to the channel, my friends, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at this week's official prices. This video is sponsored by CML Games. More on that later. All right, so we got a big week of releases, and leading it off is the Deathwing Assault. So we're going to hit you guys with the USD and Canadian prices as well. So starting off first with the Deathwing Assault, and definitely the thing I'm most excited for, the new Dark Angels Warhammer 40,000 expansion launch set, $220 USD or $270 Canadian. So 220 USD or 270 Canadian. And I went through and kind of took a look at the value inside this set. And it's a little bit subjective because we don't know how much the actual Dark Angels upgrade sprues are going to be. But in comparison, we have the most recently released Black Templars upgrade sprues. And I think those are probably the most comparable because they're actually like a nice upgrade sprue. It's not like the old kind of like basic sprues that they had for all the factions. These are much nicer. They include tons of stuff to go on the Terminators as well, which is why they're featured in this kit. And they're just absolutely loaded with bits. So I went ahead and priced those at $35 a piece, which is what the Black Templar sprues cost. So that's going to give you 70 right there. We have three squads of Terminators. One is Deathwing Knights. Two are the regular Terminators, which we know are 65. So we just assume all those are 65 a piece. So that's 195 plus a 70. So we're at 265. Belial's probably going to be like 45. So that's going to put us at 310. And then 60 bucks for the book, 370. And probably 20 for the cards, maybe 25. So it should put us right around like $3.95 roughly. So just under $400. And with the MSRP price of $220, it's close to like 50% in savings. I mean, not quite there. But considering that you get early access to the Codex Supplement, the cards, Belial, the Deathwing Knights, and the Upgrade Sprues, it's a really nice set. Now, I've heard some people arguing that nobody's going to be able to use 15 Terminators. This is way too many. But I think people forget that like you used to be able to run an all Deathwing army. And it was actually like pretty good last edition. And matter of fact, it's been pretty good like throughout the ages because most people just aren't ready to be overloaded by all Terminators. They're also super versatile in the sense that they have a really good armor save, a nice and vulnerable save. You have the ability to like deep strike and reposition. They're definitely going to have some awesome like custom strats, potentially the ability to bring back a Terminator a turn with Deathwing and Command Squads. Every model in your army is basically equipped to like kill characters, light vehicles, or potentially with like weight of volume, even take out things like land raiders or knights. So the idea that you might not be using like 15 or 16 terminators in your army, sure, and like a regular army totally makes sense. But if you're going to be running an actual Deathwing army, it's not crazy to think that you're going to be running a ton of terminators. And we don't know what the actual points costs are going to be. Obviously, there could be some updates coming with the release of the new codex supplement. But right now, a five-man squad of Terminators is only 185 points. So let's say like 370 for the actual Terminators, and let's say 200 for the Deathwing Knights. That's 570 plus Belial, probably like about 140. So it's really only about 710 points. So you can look at it both ways. Well, it's only 710 points for $220. Or, hey, you can take 16 Terminators for 710 points. So you can almost run this setup right here like three times. So I think realistically, when you start thinking about it, like you could be potentially running somewhere around 48 Terminators for 2,000 points if you just ran all Terminators. I don't think it's crazy to think that like what amounts to 50 Terminators could be like a fun and competitive army and only having to worry about like five data sheets. It's going to make it so the rules are easy to keep track of. You have less models to push around the board on those long tournament days. And honestly, I'm looking forward to running a Deathwing army. So first I was like getting excited about the Dark Angels, but the more and more I think about it, the idea of running either an all Deathwing army or at least like primarily Deathwing Terminators seems even more fun. So don't be surprised if you see me talking about that in the future. So 220 bucks, obviously a lot of money, but when you consider the actual breakdown of what's in this box set, of course, like the premium that you pay for early access to Belial, the Terminator upgrade sprues, the actual Deathwing Knights, most importantly, the Dark Angels Codex supplement and cards. I think this is actually a really good deal and I'm going to be picking up a couple of them. I'm also really excited for this because this is going to be the first codex supplement for the Space Marines that we're going to get to see. So it kind of gives us like an idea what to expect going forward for like our Ultramarines, Blood Angels, Black Templars, etc. And if you're a Space Marine player, this is, and if you're a Space Marine player, even if you're not into Dark Angels at all, this is huge because it's really going to open the door for what we can honestly expect. And you guys know I'm a big Death Watch player as well, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what is in here so I can get a good idea as to what's to come for Space Marines down the line. So 220 bucks for this? Yes, please. All right, and then moving on here, we have Pariah Nexus. So this is the campaign or like crusade book. So we saw the initial one basically came in the Leviathan box set. So you got like the full campaign book built into it. And then they sold it also separately. I know the Crusade people, it's like pretty popular. It's definitely a fun way to play 
Warhammer, a lot of times you can do like progressive campaigns as well, where you like build up from a small force. I've always had fun doing like the narrative, like crusade games or like leagues in the past. So 60 bucks USD or $70 Canadian for the Pariah Nexus Crusade book. It definitely feels like it should have been last edition, but the idea of like the Necrons versus the Admech and then both getting their codexes early this edition, it's still really cool. And then we know the limited edition book, it's going to be limited to 600 copies. So if you do want one of those, definitely don't mess around to get a hold of it. And it's probably going to run right around 100 bucks. And it's only going to be available on Games Workshop's web store. And just in case anybody forgot or you're not sure, all of this stuff is going to go up for pre-order this Saturday. And then like the standard is now, it's going to be a two-week pre-order period. So it's not actually going to come out until two weeks after this coming Saturday. So we're still about three weeks out on all this stuff. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. All right, and then next we have Yarick the Omnibus. And this is the paperback version. So some people were asking what the difference between this and the Omnibus that came out like a couple years ago is because they said the stories like sounded familiar. And I think the only difference is this is the soft covered version. So previously they had like the unique like limited edition one and then they come out with the hardcover a while after that. And that's probably the one that you got, one of those two. Now this is just the paperback version. So same contents, just different packaging. And this is $21 USD or $25 Canadian. And I would imagine that they're releasing this to build up a little bit of excitement before we get like an actual new book for Yarick. Some new stories, essentially telling like what happened to him or what his current state is, you know, potentially dead. So pretty cool right here. I'm actually picked this one up just to kind of refresh and uh, get a nice little backstory build up leading up to what I presume will be a new Yarick novel coming soon. So 21 USD, 25 Canadian. And then we also have a missing item showing up. So he was supposed to come out a while ago. We kind of guessed on the prices and I definitely undershot this one. And again, this just shows you just how amazing of a deal Leviathan is. And to tell you the truth, I still see him out there for basically retail value. And if you haven't picked it up yet, I really think everybody should be picking up at least one copy of Leviathan, especially if you're a Space Marine or Tyranid player. And that missing link is the Tyranid Psychophage. So this thing was supposed to come out a while ago. Obviously, we see pre-orders were December 23rd. So it's basically like a month late at this point in time. But it is coming up for pre-order next week. And the official prices on this thing are $60 USD for the Psychophage. I said $45 and I definitely undershot it because most of the big bugs are like $60. Bucks. And I always leave the door open for that. But $60 bucks for the Psychophage. He is a big model. He's definitely chonky. Or if you're in Canada up north there, $70 Canadian dollars for the Psychophage. And again, that just fully shows you how amazing a deal Leviathan is because if he's 60 bucks on his own and you can still pick up the tier and a half of Leviathan for about 100 bucks shipped, basically anywhere on the internet, that means he's 60% of the entire box set if you were just going to pick him up. And all these characters come inside of it too. Tons and tons of gaunts, the leapers. I mean, it is just such an amazing deal. I can't get over how good Leviathan is. But it is good to see that the Psychophage will be available for individual purchase now, even though no one should ever buy him. Definitely just pick up the Leviathan box set. So yeah, very cool. Definitely going to wrap it up there. So we got our prices coming this week. Just a quick little look at that Dark Angels upgrade sprue here. We can see a ton of shoulder pads, not only for like your Terminators and regular Space Marines, but we see some Gravis armor and stuff in there as well. Got some Ravenwing upgrades, some Deathwing upgrades. And then I think probably the most exciting is just all of the awesome heads. A bunch of like cool standard heads. And then we see like the helmeted heads with hoods, which is amazing. And then a couple other like cool hooded and non-hooded heads as well. So really nice upgrade sprue right here. Sort of like all encompassing for the Dark Angels. And especially if we compare it to like the old style of upgrade sprues that Games Workshop was putting out. This is definitely amazing. I mean, just throwing a little Watcher in the Dark in there obviously takes it up from 9 to 10 as well. But the previous little like regular upgrade sprues and then Primaris upgrade sprues were definitely like lacking. I think this is what we can expect for all of the various Space Marine chapters at some point in time in the future. So very, very cool. Definitely some value on these sprues right here, especially if you're going to be running those plasma cannons with your Terminators. And then just a little bit of it in action. We could see this is like the standard Terminator kit with some of the upgrades. Here we got a Primaris Sergeant with some of the upgrades. 
could potentially even turn like a regular guy into like a lieutenant or maybe even a captain, depending on what equipment you're looking for with this cool little upgrade sprue. So it gives you some pretty nice kit bashing potential, letting you turn just like a basic bro into what amounts to like a $35 Games Workshop character. And then of course we see the Ravenwing biker with the back little plume right there. I really wish they would have put more than one in this box set. I hope that that's not all that's in here, but we see obviously like the numbers by everything else. So more likely than not, they're going to at some point in time release a Ravenwing upgrade sprue as well. Because I can't imagine that if you're going to run like a Ravenwing army with like 30 to like 60 bikes in it, that you're going to have to buy like, you know, the equivalent amount of upgrade frames. So very cool box set. Definitely excited to see all the rules and everything come in as well as the models. But I'm not going to lie. I am really waiting for the Inner Circle Companions. These guys are absolutely awesome. I cannot wait not only to run these on the table just because they're awesome. But realistically, the models are absolutely amazing. These things are going to be a joy to paint. And the crazy, crazy bits that come with these are going to be absolutely awesome. I mean, the actual swords are like next level with the skulls built in and everything. Obviously, the paint jobs really do these things justice. But we went through here already and they show off like six different ones and some of them are duplicates. So we know it's going to be a box of three, which means there's a ton of awesome bits, including like the sword on the back, the banner, and then a bunch of different ways that they're like actually holding their swords. Very, very cool. We see them with the double handed swords. Absolutely beautiful. Tons of different head options. These things are just a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. So super cool. Let me know what you're most excited about, what you're going to be picking up down below. Hopefully these guys aren't far behind. I'd love to see them up for pre-order as soon as next week. Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and it's time to bring on the angels. And I'm out of here.